the Treasury bill auctions were concluded today, where the three-month Treasury bill rates fell by 34 basis points to 16.3%, while the 12-month Treasury bill rates fell by eight basis points to 13.02%. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been seeing the short-term interest rates coming down uh, at a faster pace compared to the long-term bond rates or Treasury bond rates, which were holding at around 14 to 16% this week. Also, from a lending rate perspective, the average weighted prime lending rate fell by 30 basis points or 0.3% from 14.3% to 14% during last week. Also from a fiscal perspective, the government of Sri Lanka reported tax revenues for the cumulative period January to July 2023. Tax revenues have increased by 43% for the cumulative seven months compared to last year, reporting a total of 1.4 trillion rupees of tax revenues compared to the IMF full year target of 3.2 trillion uh, for the full year. So Sri Lanka for the full year might fall in terms of its tax collections by about 300 to 400 billion rupees by the end of the year. Also from an expense perspective, the government of Sri Lanka total expenses have also grown 40% and that has been primarily driven by the increase in interest expenses as government's fiscal spending and the delay in terms of the interest rates coming down exerted pressure on keeping interest rates high during the first seven months of 2023. Also an important point to note is that Sri Lanka which reported primary surplus up to the month of June reported primary deficit by the month of July as capital expenditure increased roughly about 30% during the month of July. On an external perspective, the currency has been stable at about 324 rupees to the dollar on average and the Central Bank of Sri Lanka was also been able to buy dollars worth of 83 million dollars during the month of September, which took its cumulative reserves total up to $3.5 billion, which looks like that Sri Lanka may fall short of its $4.4 billion target in terms of US dollar reserves by the end of the year. The good news is that Sri Lanka has reached preliminary debt restructuring agreement with Exim Bank of China. The details of it is, is unknown, but it shows that Sri Lanka is making progress towards its debt negotiations on the external front.